Hi everyone, I am Pseudo AI, and in this video, we've got another AI showdown. The new kid on the block, Google's Bard vs. OpenAI's GPT-4. Just today, and today being March 31st, Bard has received an upgrade with supposedly better capabilities in handling multi-step word and math problems. So let's test that out and compare it to GPT-4. Unfortunately, coding is still not officially supported in Bard, so we'll compare that capability to GPT-4 once it is ready. And how, you may ask, will we test Bard and GPT-4 today? Well, I think a fitting way to do a comparison is to have each AI chatbot answer 10 GRE, which stands for Graduate Record Examination, questions. For those who have not had the pleasure of taking the GREs, they are the SATs for grad school. With that in mind, half of our questions will be the quantitative reasoning, which, when said in plain English and not in GRE speak is math. And the other half are verbal reasoning. So let's get started with the math, uh, quantitative reasoning questions. For our first question, let us start with the newcomer Bard, which again is supposed to have improvements in the old math and logics department. So here's the problem. X, Y has got to be greater than zero. Quantity A is X squared and Y to the fourth. And quantity B is X cubed and Y to the sixth. And then the objective is to determine which is greater, equal, or the relationship can't be determined. So, well, Bart's answer came pretty quickly and correctly, which is nice. Gave a very brief explanation, but at the end of the day, a correct answer is correct. Running the same question through GPT-4 also produces the same correct answer. It takes a bit longer to generate our answer and steps through its mathematical or quantitative reasoning in a more verbose way. As both answered correctly, each get a point and let's jump on to the next one. This time we have quantity A being three and quantity B being X. Working independently, machine A can complete a work in three and a half hours while machine B can complete the same work in X hours. Working simultaneously, they together complete the same work in one and a half hours. And like before, we need to determine which quantity is greater, if they're equal, or if the relationship can't be determined. Bard will go first again, and again, it comes up with a faster answer over GPT-4. And again, the answer is absolutely correct. Well done! It shows some more work this time, but oh my god, GPT-4 just does every mathematical operation step by step. A bit overkill, but if you want to learn them quantitative reasoning skills, receiving step by step instructions is helpful. And like Bard, we arrive at the same correct answer, so we are tied at 2-2. Kind of boring. I was hoping for some more dramatic differences. Let's try to trip one or both of them up on this next question. X is chosen at random from the set 1, 2, 3, 4, and Y is chosen at random from the set 5, 7, Nine. Quantity A, the probability that X, Y will be even. Quantity B, the probability that X plus Y will be even. And again, the familiar choices, A is greater, B is greater, equal, or can't be determined. So how, how does Bart handle statistics? Turns out not great. That is not the answer we are looking for, unfortunately. Finally, some excitement. We'll provide some helpful feedback for the folks over at Google to get their act together. You're welcome. And how does GPT-4 fare? Drum roll, please. And bam, the correct answer. Finally, we have a winner emerging. The score is now three to two. For our fourth question, we're going to move away from the quantity A and B type questions and do something different. Which of the following statements individually provides enough information to determine the number of students in a group? Indicate all such statements. So for this question, you can select one or more answer choices. The question can potentially have multiple answers and is specified in the prompt that this is a possible option. After generating its answer, Bard concludes... There is no answer. Clearly, it did not follow the specified note in the prompt. I thought it was rather clear there. Well, since Bard chose nothing, it gets no points. Seems fair to me. Meanwhile, GPT-4 methodically goes through each choice and determines the answers are A, B, and D, which are the correct choices. Wow, GPT-4 is quantitatively destroying the reasoning out of Bard. What happened to that upgrade? Or two. Last of the quantitative reasoning questions. If the ratio of the number of grade nine students to the number of grade 10 students is five to three, and the ratio of the number of grade 10 students to the number of grade 11 students is six to one, which of the following could be the total number of grade nine, 10, and 11 students? Indicate all such values. And again, we can select more than one choice. Bard gives us its version of logic and states confidently the answer is A, B, D, and E, and then only gives three numbers as possible possible solutions below. That upgrade certainly gave Bard a one-of-a-kind logic. Well, B and D are correct, but there is another choice that is correct, 
so we'll show some pity and give it half a point. And GPT-4, on the other hand, picks B and D. Again, those are correct, but keep in mind, they missed a correct option. Let us know in the comments below what the third correct choice is. Process of elimination should make it easy to guess, so not sure why I'm asking that of all you, but eh, why the hell not? Go answer a GRE question today and show off to all your friends and family. Anyway, we'll give GPT-4 a score of 0.5. So the final tally for this section is 4.5 to 2.5 in favor of GPT-4. Now on to the verbal reasoning section. I put this section last in this video because I dislike them verbals and think math is more interesting, so I stuffed them at the end here. I hope you are all agreeable with that choice, and if you decide to drop out now, I don't blame you. I'd probably do the same. But if you stick to the end, I'll reward you somehow. Maybe a gif of kittens or something. We'll see. So verbal question one, get ready for a bunch of words you never use in your daily life. Answer the following prompt and explain your reasoning. The recent Gallup results state that millennials often blank from job to job without staying in one place too long. They're the job hopping generation. Note, select two answer choices. This one has two answers. They are A and C. Obviously, don't question it. We'll start with GPT-4 this round. It concluded A and F. So if my quantitative reasoning is correct, that is half correct. Apparently, TAC fits better because of changing course due to boats and C is not correct because of changing course due to cars. Apparently, GPT-4 has a nautical bias. Nautical bias confirmed, everyone. Not really, probably. And Bard chooses the same answers. Copycat, half point for each. Question two, answer the following prompt and explain your reasoning. He has a reputation for being wooden and blank, but I think he comes across as both personable and thoughtful in his ads. And again, we can select two answer choices. Both GPT-4 and Bard come up with the same answer, B and D, which are both correct. So our score is one and a half to one and a half. Hopefully we can get another tiebreaker here soon. Questions three to five are based on a reading prompt. Pause the video if you hate yourself and you want to read it through, but I'm going to leave that up to the AIs and see if they can and adequately answer these questions. The answer to question three is E, which both AIs were able to answer correctly. So two and a half to two and a half. This is the easiest of the three passage questions. Let's see how they perform on the remaining two. Questions four and five are too lengthy to read. Suffice it to say, both Bard and ChatGPT answered the same. Choice A for both questions, which is the correct choice for question four, but incorrect for question five. So the final tally for this section is three and a half to three and a half, a tie. Well, that was anticlimactic, but clearly both have improvements to make if they want to go to graduate school, so they'll need to study harder if they want to completely replace us all someday. And if we add up the final scores, we have GPT-4 with a score of 8 to Bard's score of 6. So congratulations, GPT-4. You are the winner this time. Hopefully both OpenAI and Google will continue to release steady updates to the models such that we can see continued improvement in their logical and reading skills. And on that note, I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it informative. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to return for some more AI goodness. And oh, before I forget, your reward for staying till the end. Till next time, everyone. This is Pseudo AI Departing.